So when, when I say the word percent, well, we use percent all the time. Give me a context of percent. Oh, good. Okay, so you got a 85% on the test. What else? How about sales? Haven't you ever heard of a percent yeah. sale? What's a common percent sale? 35% off. I love hearing that. 70%, 70% off. You know, it's like you're, mm -hmm. it's like they're paying you to buy it, right? It's awesome. That percent though, what's that percent actually mean? What's it mean? I know we use percents all the time, right? All the time. I've got an 85% on my test. I got a 35% off sale. I just saved 20% on my car insurance. You know, <laughs> all that sort of stuff that you, that you hear all the time. That percent signifies that you're saving something out of 100 or you're, you're, it's, it's represented on parts of 100. So for instance, if you have a 20% sale, for every $100 you spend, you're saving 20. Does that make sense? Yes. If you had a 78% on your test, that means out of 100 possible theoretical points, you got 78 of them. Does that make sense? The, percent, the word percent means parts of 100. So we're gonna write that down. Percent actually means parts of 100. So here's what this looks like for us. If you have one percent, if you have one percent, what that literally means is you have one part out of a possible 100. For instance, if you hear one percent on a dollar, how much is one percent of a dollar? One cent. One cent is one percent. Why do you think we get the word cent? One part out of a dollar, one percent, one cent, that's a penny. So one cent is actually one out of 100. That's what that percent means, one out of 100. And there's another way you could write it. In fact, if you look at this as a decimal, you can write one out of 100. Hey, look at this, this everything's coming together for, th for us in this section. One out of 100, that's one one hundredth, right? Remember those place values? How can I write one one hundredth as a decimal? Point, Point zero, zero, one. zero one zero one. That's one one hundredth. All those things mean exactly the same thing. Do you agree with me? Yeah. This is one part out of a hundred. This is one part out of a hundred. This is one part out of a hundred. This is one hundredth. This is one hundredth. This is one percent. Those are equivalent statements. Raise your hand if you're okay with that. So when we talk about percent, this is actually how you change from a percent into a decimal. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, of course, we don't always deal with just one percent. We deal with a lot of different percents, such as, how about 67 percent? Can you write that as a fraction first? Yeah. Sure, this is going to be how much? What over what? Seven over a thousand. Over a hundred. Over, it's always parts of a hundred. That's what percent means. So what's going to be on the denominator of your fraction? A uh, hundred. A hundred, yeah. This says 67 parts out of 100. That percent stands for parts of a hundred. Could you write it as a decimal? Yes. Decimal. Point six seven. How are we getting point six seven? Could you move the two? Do you move the decimal two places? Yeah, exactly. Right. Let me show you something here. If you have sixty-seven percent, if you had to put a decimal on this problem, where would you put the decimal? In front of the right here? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Like right now, where would the decimal be? Um, back to the seven. So right here, if you were to write this as a decimal, it would be 67 point, point something, right? Yeah. In order to change from a percent into a decimal, from 1% to 0 .01, if you imagined your decimal place just after that number, you would move it how many spaces to the left? Two. Yeah, look at the board here with me, folks. If you move two spaces to the left, that's the same thing as identifying two zeros. Remember dividing by 100 earlier? You move it two spots. Here, you'd move it two spots. Here, you're going to move it two spots. That's the same thing as 0.67. So 67% equals 0.67. How many people feel okay with that so far? If you're not raising your hand, I'm assuming you're not okay with it. We'll, we'll go over it again if you need to. Are we okay with it? Okay. So 
what's happening here? How are we getting from, are we okay getting from the percent to the fraction? Now, why, why can we get from here, or here, I, I just rewrote it, here to here, where's that decimal coming from? We move it to the left. Why can we move it to the left? Well, look it. It's divided by 100. So if you had 67 divided by 100, that's like 67.0. Divided by 100, you move it two spots to the left. Two spots to the left, you get 0.67 out of that thing. Just like we practiced on our fractions earlier. Do you know what that percent is on the calculator? Not on yours. Come see me after class. Okay, what I'd like you to do right now, write 19% as a fraction and write 19% as a decimal for you. It shouldn't take you long, just practice it, make sure you can do it. Okay, as a fraction, we should get something over 100 because percent means parts of 100. So what do we get over 100? That, that's our fraction right there. And normally, if you were able to reduce these, you would. Now, these aren't reducible, so we leave them the way they are. How about as a decimal? What are you going to get as a decimal, folks? Yeah. 0.19. We change from a percent to a decimal by moving the decimal place two spots left. There's one other thing we can't, well, a couple other things we can do. One of them, what if you get a weird looking percentage? Because sometimes you, you'll see this, not often, but sometimes you'll see a percentage given to you as a fraction, like 66 and 2 thirds percent. Oh my, 66 and 2 thirds percent. We can actually translate that to a fraction as long as we understand what the percent really means. Check this out for a second. What's percent mean? Parts of 100. Parts of 100. So 1% would be 1 over 100. Are you with me on that? Yes. Check this out. This is kind of weird, but check this out. Are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. Firstly, could you translate this into an improper fraction? Yes. yes. Yeah, how much is going to be? You can use your calculator if you want. Get calculators. 198. 200 over 3. Yeah, very good. So it'd be 200 over 3%, yeah? yeah? Check it out. This is this is weird. This is something you could do, though. You could actually make this, ah, oh, shoot. 200 over 3 times 1%. Do you agree that that's the same thing? 200 over 3 times 1 would give you 200 over 3, right? The percent's still there. You with me? Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're with me? Yeah. Check it out. How much is 1% equal to? 1 over 100. So in order to change a fraction from a, focus up here, in order to change from a fraction into a percent, a, a fraction percent into a, a fraction itself, all you got to do is break off that percent, and you just agree that this part, you just agree that that part is equal to that, right? Yes. Same thing as 1 over 100. Instead of a percent, 1% 1 mm -hmm. is 1 over 100. You can do that. Can you simplify that fraction? Yes. Yeah. What simplifies out of that? That gives you a 1. That gives you a 2. You're simplifying 200 and 100. How much is that fraction going to be? A percent sign is the same thing as 1 over 100. If you keep that in your mind, that a percent sign is the same thing as multiplying by 1 over 100, you're going to be just fine. That's what the percent sign means. It says parts over 100. So if you think of percent or 1% as 1 over 100 or 0 0.01, check it out. If you multiply 67, that's what we did here. 67 times 1 over 100, that was 67 over 100. 67 times 0 0.01, that's 0 0.67. That percent sign stands for 1 over 100. Raise your hand if you're okay with that so far. Good, all right. So changing from 66 and 2 thirds percent into just a fraction. Notice there's no more percent, is there? No. 
you use the fact that a percent is 1 over 100 to change that from a percent into a fraction. In fact, if you did this right now, uh, you're, you're gonna, if you divide 2 over 3 on your calculator, you're going to get point, point, six, 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 and the very end there's going to be a 7. That's because it rounded it for you at the very end. Point six, six, six. That's 66 point six, 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 six percent right there. That's what that is. So we've just actually only moved the decimal two spots. That's really all you've done. You've just done it in terms of a fraction. It's kind of interesting. I want you to try this one on your own. Do seven and one seventh percent. Change that into a fraction. I gave you a nice number there, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. The nice guy this week. See how this thing works out. So we have 7 and 1 7 percent. Of course, we got a mixed number. We're, we're going to change it to a proper fraction. It's usually what we do with our mixed numbers. So we get 50 over, over 7. And we know that percent, that percent right there, actually means 1 over 100. Every time you see a percent, that's what it means. That's how we change from our decimals. That's how we move a decimal. It means 0.01 or 1 over 100. That's how it works. We simplify. 1. One and two. Sure, 50 goes into 50 one time, 50 goes into 100 two times. We're going to get how much? One over 14. That's it. Seven and one seventh percent is the same thing as a fraction, one fourteenth. How many people got one fourteenth? Good for you, that's fantastic. Very good. Hey, how about this? What if I gave you something like, instead of these whole numbers here, What about 0.35%? Could you change that into a decimal? Because right now it has a decimal, right? But it's also a percent. Can you change it to something without a percent sign? So just a decimal all by itself?